I can't thank Silas and, and Jason Hound for what they did to to get the word out about Wilson Creek and about what's going on with Mount Top removal across the Appalachia. And uh, and I guess you heard how the story started. Uh, it was I was devastated when I found out that they wanted to mine on both sides of the watershed at the same time. Um, and so we came together and um, came up with the determination we're going to try and get the lands on a suitable petition. And we didn't have any hope this would actually accomplish much. The, there's only been three of these in the whole state history of the state that have been successful. Uh, but we thought maybe it buys some time, uh, maybe it buys a few months, and then something else would happen, like the stream saver bill passed, or a new administration in Washington that would care about Appalachian people. So maybe something would happen. Um, so, but we decided to give it a try um, and started all the work on it. Well, early on in this, I had a, a kind of painful and unpleasant conversation with one of my neighbors, and he said, You know, you can't win this thing. There's no way. Why are you doing this? People are just going to think you're crazy. And I said, well, yeah, probably. <laughs> but this isn't about winning. This is, this is an act of defiance. I defy these sons of bitches to come in here and tear up my home. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It might be that they don't want Wilson Creek to be a precedent that could be used elsewhere. So they're deciding to litigate it instead. I don't know. All I can tell you is um, that the kids are still running up and down the hall on their bicycles. And uh, there's at least three young couples that moved back to Wilson Creek this year to build new houses and raise their babies. Um, and last week I saw a uh, great blue hair in the creek. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, so maybe, you know, maybe we're, I can't tell you what the future's going to hold. Maybe we're like Sisyphus waiting to walk down the mountain and, and go into the plane and get ready to roll that ball up again. I don't know. I just know that um, me and a whole lot of other folks on Wilson Creek are doing what we can to stop mountaintop removal wherever it occurs. Um, and we're going to keep doing that and um, we'll see what the future brings. Now, when I read The Myth of Sisyphus when I was in college, I didn't read Camus' preface to it. And when I did, it um, pretty well knocked me unconscious. And I want to leave you with this, um, which is Camus says that although The Myth of Sisyphus poses moral problems, it sums itself up for me as a lucid invitation to live and to create in the very midst of the desert. So I want to extend that and encourage you to, to accept that invitation as artists and as people of Appalachia. Live, create, defy the gods when you need to. Um, maybe if we, enough of us do that and if we do it together, uh, we'll see a little bloom in the desert. So thank you all for having me.